regarding the sort of holistic solutions, because you mentioned that as well, you know, how far would you go with um, combining or building this sort of one single holistic solution? So is it, would it be all the back office sort of elements, but that, you know, but there's stuff that's already in the classroom with attendance and, um, or, or, or would you, would you even go as far as putting learning in, in sort of um, tools in, in this I think learning uh, systems are <clears throat> self-contained to to a large extent. Um, yeah. Although a, a lot of what they do is is, is stepping over the border onto what um, Sims or a traditional MIS has always done. Um, so I think those boundaries are a little bit difficult, um, and I suspect that um, some of the learning management systems are are doing things like attendance um, because. Uh, they've not got enough traction and they need to get people drawn into it. But I think that's a distraction from getting a, a complete solution. Um, okay. uh, so learning systems, I think, um, could stand alone. And I think um, parental engagement um, solutions could um, stand alone, but are better um, as part of the MIS. You know, this sufficient if you look at the, the homework, the behavior, the attendance, uh, the payments, all the things that parents have to interact with the school could be provided by the MIS, um, as I suspect it will be um, with the, the parent pay acquisition of Sims, or potentially um, as, a, as an add-on product. Yeah, I, I agree. And also, I think it's, it's one of the biggest parts of the, surely part of their growth strategy, you know, is the ability to sort of almost take some of the assessment data and then saying, by the way, here's some... Mm -hmm books or by way pair you know this is how you can engage with now with the school and the child and improve in helping their support their education so yeah it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's a bit of a it's, triangle i think the um the personnel systems probably are neglected um in mis um so they sort of handle the basic contracts but there's now um a whole wealth of things which i i think um should be covered by the ms but that, that they're not um so some of the um safety concerns issue mm. um I, I think it's difficult to see why they should be in a separate system um but i don't think the mis companies have um, put enough attention onto that yeah it's, it's, it's that the, the safeguarding i think is an interesting one you know you, you can see in some cases where people want to you know keep data outside potentially of the mis where it can't be accessed but, you know, that's down yes. to permissions and, and strength of those permissions, I guess. But at the same you, time... You, lot... can, you can see that, but um, you, you're probably talking about relatively small companies um, doing that. And uh, and are they really going to have the expertise to keep that data secure? I mean, do they do penetration testing, for example? Mm. Um, and, and these are really important issues and something which an MIS cannot get away with with, with not doing, in my view. Yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot of definitely sensitive data in an MIS. Yeah. I, I sure. would, uh, if I was a buyer, I would make um, all MIS suppliers publish their. Um, uh, sorry, <laughs> I've lost the thread. I'd make them publish their penetration testing on a regular basis, and those that did it every year, I would say, mm, I'm not certain I want to buy from you. <laughs> well, that's a, that's an interesting point. So I, I know I've spoken to the Welsh Hub before. Uh, well. I've talked to people who are part of the Welsh Hub, uh, and one of the things they're thinking about doing is is doing that sort of framework where they say these are you know these are the ones that we almost recommend based on some yes. of those sort of factors. Yes, yes, it's an it's an interesting concept. You know, they, they they basically they want to, I suppose, educate people to potentially buying. You know, so but, um, schools don't necessarily need to do it themselves, or local yes. authorities don't need to. Do I, it I think some companies self certify, um, and I, I I wouldn't buy that. I mean, Capita at one point, it, it did have a, a, a testing arm, which was completely independent of Sims, but we decided not to use them um, because it, it would just be test marking your own homework. Yeah, true. Yeah, very, very true. Um, so, Phil, that's my questions, ultimately. So I, I, I'd like to thank thank you very much for your, your time. And I appreciate, you know, that you're a busy person. It, and it, um, pleasure. I hope it's of some use. <laughs> 